Hi, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and today I'm checking out, from my library, Winter Celebrations by Stonewall Kitchen. Now, I'm not sure if you know what company that is uh, here in Seattle. We have luxury grocery stores and gift stores that sell Stonewall Kitchen's really fancy gourmet food. Not sure I'm going to pay $12 for a cupcake mix, but they have really cool stuff and lots of jams and jellies. Those are reasonably priced. And I really like a lot of the things they do, and I thought, hey, I like this cookbook because we just finished Christmas and New Year's Eve, but it's still winter and I don't really need a Christmas cookbook. I'm not making everything red and green, but it's a winter cookbook. I love that. So I borrowed it from the library. I'm going to take a look at it right now with you and then a little bit later I might work some of these dishes into, oh these are the founders of Stonewall Kitchen. Kitchen. I might work some of these dishes into my meal plan for the week. So four chapters. Salad soups and appetizers is the first one. Main course is the second. Side dishes, that's usually my favorite, is the third. And desserts are the fourth. So not every recipe here is going to have its own picture, which I don't like. And the book is from 2009. The food photography is already looking a little dated. That's okay. Winter radicchio slaw. See, now that is something I wouldn't go out of my way to run and make. But if they make it sound appetizing, oh uh, yeah, that's a good reminder. Wedge salad with blue cheese and roasted shallots. I don't need a cookbook to know how to make a wedge salad, but okay. Roasted acorn squash and beet salad with maple raisin vinaigrette. I, I would probably whip that up. Okay, here's a page on the magic of balsamic glaze. Okay. Winter spinach salad with roasted pears, blue cheese toast, and dried cranberry vinaigrette. Yum. Okay. I'm going to skip the ones that don't have pictures. Why would we talk about those? Oh, that one did have a picture, but I see meat, so I'm skipping on. Okay, butternut squash soup with curried pecans, apple, and goat cheese. That sounds really good. I'm sure I have other cookbooks on my shelves that have butternut squash recipes, but this is the cookbook I have out and holding in my hand, so I might actually make that soup tomorrow. Um, the ingredients look like stuff I already have in the house other than the pink lady apple. Okay. Lobster stew with saffron cream. Wow, that escalated quickly. Okay. Oysters baked on cream, spinach with parmesan panko crust. Yeah, no thank you. Oh, well you guys might enjoy them. I'm a lifelong vegetarian. Tarragon crab canapes. I'm not really making a lot of canapes in January. Mini lobster cups. This book is starting to see them all over the place because that's, that's kind of like party appetizer food. Okay. Indian spiced meatballs with yogurt and mango chutney. Okay. Let's skip ahead a little. Main courses finally. I'm going to find something good to show you. Standing rib roast studded with garlic. There you go. Um, a lot of meat. Rack of lamb. Also buco with orange gremolata. Are these wintry sounding meats? I wouldn't know. Roast turkey with cranberry pecan stuffing. That's kind of Christmassy. And Thanksgiving -y. Simplest pork roast. Okay. Holiday ham. Roast salmon and scallops with orange champagne beer blanc. Okay. And side dishes. I'm looking forward to this. Mashed potatoes and turnips, mashed parsnips and pears. Now that's something I wouldn't have thought to put together. Okay. Orange scented mashed butternut squash. You know, if that makes butternut squash even more appealing, since I'm not really a big squash fan, I would throw some orange in there, definitely. Fennel and potato gratin. Yeah, I probably would have done a plain potato gratin, so that's a good reminder to add something else delicious in there. Green beans with brown butter and roasted chestnuts. Yeah, that's the holiday. Okay, winter. Noodle kugel with raisins, apricots, and slivered almonds. Well, where did that come out of? I just feel like they're just kind of grabbing stuff out of here and there, but it all sounds good. Okay. Cranberry pecan stuffing. I'm not making stuffing anymore now that Thanksgiving's over. Cranberry sauce. Okay. So if you were going to have this on your shelf to get you through the winter holidays and then afterwards winter, I would do it. Here's a Andrea's chocolate dip butter crunch from the dessert chapter poached pears from the front of the book, and four berry crisp served in cute little glasses, although if I'm drinking, eating something out of a little glass like that, it'd better be a martini. Um, caramel covered apple galette, yum, pecan pie with caramel sauce, uh huh. chocolate mint Christmas cake, cute. So all in all, nice small little, you'd have the basics covered if you were worried about making some meals for the holidays. So I recommend this book. Winter Celebrations from Stonewall Kitchen. Thanks for watching.